From increasing your life expectancy to offering amazing views, here are the top 10 amazing places where you probably want to live. Number 10. Volcan Panama Volcan in Panama, also called the Shangri-La Valley, is one of the healthiest and most popular places in the world. It's a popular location for people searching for a low cost of living and stunning scenery, but there's more to this place than the mountains. Something about Volcan means that residents tend to live for far longer than you would expect based on the life expectancy of the rest of the country, with people often living well into their 80s or 90s. This is likely due to the lifestyle you can enjoy here. Volcan is in the Chiriqui province, which is also known as Panama's breadbasket, and provides about 80% of Panama's produce. Farms of all sizes grow pretty much anything you could ever want. With constant spring-like temperatures, thermal springs, and fresh food that includes seafood, eggs, and fruits, people that live here exist in a bubble of serenity and health. This is, of course, helped by the surrounding landscape, national parks, and a wide variety of wildlife that makes it one of the best birdwatching locations in the whole of Panama. Number 9. Sardinia, Italy The island of Sardinia is one of the first places in the world to be identified as a blue zone, a place that holds the world's longest living people. It's actually the place that has the highest concentration of male centenarians, with nearly 10 times as many per capita than there are in the United States. The reason why the people here live so long is a combination of their genetic traits along with their lifestyle, and it's a great place to live. Not just if you want to live longer, but because of their quality of life. They tend to keep things simple and have low stress. Life shouldn't be so complicated. Islanders still hunt, fish, and harvest all of the food that they eat with a diet based around whole grain bread, beans, lots of vegetables and fruits, goat's milk, and cheese. They only tend to eat meat on special occasions. The island is also a wonderful place to walk around and explore, and with their close community involvement and love for wine, you could do worse than make this place your home. Number 8. Costa Rica The Happy Planet Index, which measures human well-being and environmental impact, ranks Costa Rica as one of the best places in the world to live. This is the result of a unique way of life in the country. For example, since 1949, their constitution has forbidden them from having an army, and it's the location of the United Nations University for Peace. There's also an impressive life expectancy and a literacy rate of 97.8%. Everything is relatively cheap here too, although housing has gone up since it's popular with expats, and there's no end of wondrous sights. Despite taking up 0.03% of the planet, over 5% of the world's biodiversity can be found here in the numerous protected forests and reserves that are full of hummingbirds, sloths, and plenty more. And now for number 7, but first be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos. Number 7. Fukuoka, Japan Located on the southwestern island of Kyusha, Fukuoka is a bustling city that provides its residents with all the best that Japan has to offer while being situated in a lovely coastal environment. It's closer to the Asian mainland than anywhere else in Japan, so it is an important trade harbor. This has brought together an eclectic mix of people and cultures, which can be seen throughout the city. Whether you like calm, serene parks and temples, or atmospheric nightlife and shopping centers, then Fukuoka has you covered. Along the waterfront is the futuristic design that you would expect from Japan, and the further you move inland, the more traditional things become. Japan's first Zen temple is here, along with a number of castles and ancient buildings to explore. Fukuoka really is a clash of old versus new, and you can quickly transition between relaxing surroundings to more active ones in no time at all. Of course, as with all of Japan, it can be quite expensive, but if you like the water and ancient history combined with modern amenities, it's probably worth it. Number 6. Auckland, New Zealand Auckland is New Zealand's largest city, sitting on the northern coast of the country's North Island. It's home to people from all around the world, with the largest communities of Polynesians on the planet, and is incredibly welcoming to all newcomers. In fact, more than a third of the people who live here have come from abroad, so you would be in good company. Now, if your ideal home involves a lot of sun, then this isn't the place for you. But if you like a more temperate climate with easy access to the warmer Pacific Islands, then Auckland is ideal. New Zealand is a stunningly beautiful country, there's a reason why they filmed The Lord of the Rings there, and from Auckland you can easily access the rest of the country to explore. The city itself is a hub of activity with almost 2 million residents and the usual amenities you would expect from a large city. 
There's simply tons to do here from extreme sports to touring the historic towns and sites in the region. And despite being ranked recently as one of the most expensive cities to live in, it was also ranked third on the quality of living survey, making it a great place to spend your time. The people are friendly, the economy is strong, and there's plenty of space to set down roots. Number five, Vilcabamba, Ecuador. The town of Vilcabamba in Ecuador is another of the world's blue zones where people claim to live longer and, more importantly, healthier into old age. Nestled within the Valley of Longevity in the south of the country, it's home to 4,000 people and a popular spot for tourists and new residents who travel from around the world to live there. The weather here is almost perfect throughout the year. The surrounding land is so fertile that plenty of crops are grown, and the water that locals drink and wash in is as pure as you'll find anywhere else on Earth, having filtered through the Andean mountains. It's a quiet place with a slow pace of life, but that doesn't mean there isn't ample opportunity to party, too. It's estimated that 80% of the population is made up of expats from the US and Europe, so you'll be sure to meet people with similar interests and languages to you. During the annual Carnaval festivities, the town fills with music and color. As a side note, for those of you who like to experiment with mild, altering substances, Vilcabamba could be interesting to you too. The local shamans produce a hallucinogen called aguacoya from a local variety of cactus that is used for medicinal and recreational purposes and is thought to be partly responsible for the healthier lifestyle. Number 4. Portland, Oregon as the largest city in Oregon and the second largest in the Pacific Northwest after Seattle, you may not immediately think of Portland as a dream place to live, but as far as cities go, it's definitely one of the more chilled and pleasant ones. From the numerous parks, Asian-inspired gardens, lots of museums, and plenty of historic and modern attractions to visit, there's far more to do here than is possible in one trip, and can only be truly enjoyed if you spend time living here, and if you like grim. The unofficial mantra of the city, as adopted by residents, is Keep Portland Weird, something you're bound to see on bumper stickers and signs. It's a reflection on the artistic, expressive, eccentric, and unique nature to the city, and how the residents have embraced it. There is a reason why shows like Portlandia and Grimm have been set here, and it's because of all the unusual characters. As such a welcoming city for those that wouldn't necessarily fit in elsewhere, it's the perfect place to go to live the way you want to live. Number 3. The Northern Coast, Maui, Hawaii If you're looking for a beautiful beach and environment to live in, then you'll find it difficult to find anywhere as good as the northern shore of Maui in Hawaii. It's got everything you would expect from Hawaii, the fresh air, healthy lifestyle, and perfect weather. But if you want to live there, you'd be best to avoid the tourist hotspots. And this is why the north shore towns of Paia, Haiku, and Makawao are ideal. With the tourist traps of golf courses and resorts on the west coast of the island, these northern towns offer a more authentic version of island life, with arty shops and delicious food in every direction. All surrounded by the sun and the surf, you're sure to find a fun and relaxing life if you decide to relocate here. Of course, as one of the US states, it's also much easier for an American citizen to move and live here than any other place on this list, besides Portland. Number 2. Iceland if sun isn't your thing, then Iceland could be the ideal place for you. Don't be fooled by the name. The island is, in fact, covered in lush green lands as well as glaciers, lava fields, and mountains, and it offers a way of living you won't find anywhere else on Earth. Despite its northerly location, it is actually surprisingly warm. It's one of the safest places in the world with a murder rate of 0.91 per 100,000 people in comparison to 4.88 in the United States. It's also one of the most educated places with an adult literacy rate of 100% compared to 97.9% .9 in the US. The country also runs almost entirely on renewable energy, mainly from geothermal generators that make use of the volcanic activity in the area. Icelandic cuisine mainly features fish dishes as well as lamb and dairy, and there aren't many fruits or vegetables because the terrain is difficult to grow them on. Overwhelmingly, the best thing about the island, though, is the scenery and wildlife. It's the most sparsely populated country in Europe, which leads to a sense of freedom and spacious living. Iceland doesn't have a single McDonald's or any strip club, nor do they have any mosquitoes. Huge plus! Number 1. Melbourne, Australia Every year, surveys are released to determine the best places in the world to live, and Melbourne in Australia has been in first place for the past seven years. This has taken into account factors such as healthcare, stability, education, infrastructure, culture, and the environment. And Melbourne's trendy bars and cafes helped it top the list by quite some way. 
The city has a large number of public parks and gardens, incredible modern architecture, attracts all of the biggest artists in the world for performances, and even has the largest casino in the Southern Hemisphere, complete with its own hourly fire show. It's a UNESCO city of culture and has a number of bookstores, literary festivals, and a number of best-selling authors that have lived there, and it's a joy to just get lost in the side streets and explore the rows of boutique shops and artwork. There's plenty to do in Melbourne, and the people are super friendly, and the weather is great, meaning that this is undoubtedly one of the best places in the world that you could ever want to live. Thanks for watching! Do you live in any of these places? Let us know your experience in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you soon! Bye!